My name is Ashley and I'm currently at the Wise Owl Hostel in downtown Tokyo near Ginza. I'm going to show you guys around real quick, so let's go. So this is the lounge area. They have a vending machine and free uh, iron and other free books. They have a lot of like tourist information. If you don't know what to do, there's a bunch of pamphlets over here where you can find some things to do. And then they have the classic kotatsu if you want to keep warm. So this is the kitchen area. They actually have like a stove and stuff where people cook and someone's cooking right now. <laughs> and then other microwaves, two big fridges. All right, and then this is the sixth floor. So that was the lounge area. And then we have the laundry room in here. It's $3 for the washing machine, $1 for the dryer, but I had to use the dryer twice, so it's pretty much $5 to do your laundry. And there's a bathroom in here as well. You got your fancy advanced Japanese toilet as per norm. So there's actually six floors to this hostel, so it's pretty big. It's almost like a hotel, but they have like activities for people to do. Um, there's a bar downstairs as well, but the bar is closed at the moment, so I can't show you guys that. Uh, but there, I know there's pictures online on the hostel website. So I didn't really get to meet a lot of people since it was a holiday and everyone seemed to be kind of doing their own thing. So if you're a solo travel, I don't know if I would recommend this place to you, but it is super, super nice and super convenient. Like they lay out shampoo and conditioner for you. They have towels for you. The beds are really big. I heard that the Shibuya Wise Owl has smaller uh, bed area though. So keep that in mind. Since there are six floors, I'm not gonna show you guys all of it. I'll just show you my dorm area. I just have a mixed uh, gender dorm area. Uh, so yeah, let's go over there. Oh, and this is the event calendar. So they show you what they're doing every day. Today is Mako Berry Music Friday. Woo! Yeah, so I stayed here so there wasn't anything happening because it was a holiday. Sad day. So this is the washroom. It's super fancy. They have hair dryers and everything for you. And then I'll show you one of the showers real quick. So this is the shower area. It's pretty big. It's just a Western style kind of shower. And as you can see, they have shampoo, body wash, and conditioner. So fancy. Hello. <laughs> I love these lights. I'm just, but I hit my head on them. Like when you're doing your makeup, it's just like you perfect area for me to just hit my head on them. Okay, right, so this is a dorm area, but I'm pretty sure people are still sleeping in here, so I'm gonna be quiet while I show you guys around in here. Okay, and then this is the lobby. We have a nice receptionist right there. <laughs> uh, they have coffee over here, and then they have a bar as well down this area. Actually, I think it's in the basement. There's another bathroom, and it connects to another shop. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> And then this is where the bar is in the basement, but I'm pretty sure it's not open. You know what? Let me check. Yeah, no, it's not open, but that's where it would be, down there. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> And it looks like they have additional lockers down here as well. All right, so that was my short tour of Wise Owl Hostels. Go make sure and check it out if you guys are interested. And thanks for watching. I have a lot of other Japan vlogs if you would want to watch those as well. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.